Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? I hope everybody doing okay, but I want to jump into this uh, a little quick uh, video on the three Kansas City Chiefs fans. And I want to record everything that this attorney says, okay? So hold on, work with me. Okay, the attorney also said that uh, Willis would never in a million years do anything. These were all good friends of his. These were all people he went to school with, and he took them to a football game the day before the Chiefs. Okay, he also said prior to being contacted by the police, he did not receive any phone calls or text messages from friends or family members of the deceased. Two people came to his house. However, he did not hear them as he sleeps with the Airbus uh, and a loud fan. Uh, one of those people, the wife of one of the deceased, tried to reach him via Facebook Messenger. Unfortunately, he did not see the message until after the police arrived. All right, y'all. And then right here, if you get a chance, you can read. This is uh, the press. This was the press release. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. Okay, here we go, y'all. This is what was released on January the twenty, uh, January the twentieth, and this is from his attorney. So I hope y'all can see this. This is about as clear as I can get it. Okay, and you can read some of it yourself. Okay. All right. Okay, real deal. See, this this why I got a problem with his story. But y'all see the camera right there. I eat a sensor light. Now, this is what I have a problem with. Jordan said two different things. He went upstairs and went to sleep, and then he turned around and said he was laying on the sofa. He was lying on the sofa. Okay. That's the chair where one of the guys was sitting in. Okay. If you look at this window, the patio door, they have curtains up there. Okay. You see the curtains? It's dark. Now, if those guys went through that door, the door would have been unlocked. Let me see, if, if if Jordan, listen, the door would have been unlocked if, if he was sitting out there and the other two was on the ground. If the door was locked, somebody put them there, y'all. And the curtains are closed. So in order to come outside, you have to move the curtains, right? Slide the door and come outside. Why is the door locked? And why is the curtain shut? What were these guys placed back there? Dragged back there? Or what? If Jordan thought they went out the front door instead of the, if he thought they went out the front door and they went out the back door, Jordan would have checked his door. And when he checked his door, it would have been unlocked with the curtain open, and he could have saw that body. Come on, y'all. Work with me now. 
That makes sense. So I'm going to say it for the last time that I'm going to move on. If the guys came from the out inside of the house to the outside, this door would be unlocked. And the curtains would be pushed back. If Jordan thought that the guys left while he laid on the sofa out the, out the front door, then how, when did he wake up and come lock this door? See, it's not making sense. So he thought they went out the front and they came out the back. So if they came out the back, then the door would have been the door would have been unlocked and the curtain would have been pushed back. And he would have been able to see him. Now for him to lock the front lock this door, if they lock this door, if this door right here got the curtain closed and it's locked, then they went out the front door. So how they end up in the backyard? Y'all. We got to find out. Y'all, I done found some important information. Look at him. Jordan spoke out, y'all. Um, let me see. Can I get Let me see. Can I hold it here and read it? Okay. All right. Um, excuse me, y'all. I had to move this because my dog moved. It said... Uh, just spoke to a source close to Jordan Willis, who is um, disputing the vow or claims that um, he was a chemist who manufactured design drugs for his friends. Okay, um, Source tell me he devastated at the loss of his uh, friends and would never make drugs for them. What? Okay, y'all. And I'm trying to read this stuff with these little glasses on. Uh, he in rehab voluntarily. Um, after this got Janet wake up call says he's uh says he is uh suffered from uh depression he suffered from uh depression and alcoholism over the past 15 years and would use drugs recreationally but does not believe he was a narcotics uh, addict. Now, see, y'all, if y'all list looking at that, then where's all this that he was a chemist come from? Oh, that would that, that's what the cousin said. That was one of the family members said. Then it went on to say, y'all, I'm trying to see. Uh, he never manufactured. Never, oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. I got to read that part right there. And I'm having a hard time with these Dollar Tree glasses. Okay, it said that uh, put it up so y'all can see it. Ooh, loud, I can't see that. Okay, hold on, y'all. Said he would never make fat. Uh, Anything like that. He said he wouldn't have made, he wouldn't have created nothing like that. What? No, are you serious? Okay. That um oh y'all, I can't see this. And then he said that's crazy to me that uh people would he said that people would actually uh hold on yeah. He said that people will actually oh, oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna stop him by freezing. He said that it, that people will actually I can't see where am I? That's crazy that manifesting that just because of his uh professional 
profession um that he is a uh I can't see that I can't see it yeah well in a way he trying to acknowledge that he's not a chemist uh the whole country is uh pointing figure, fingers at him but he but he's uh had zero time time to uh grieve well, the family ain't even had, they had zero time to grieve too, Jordan. Y'all, I'm sorry I had to read it like that, but I can't see it. I can't see it, but I'm going to put it right here so y'all can see it. And also, y'all, let me see. He acknowledged that he's not the chemist, but I believe that's, the brother was just saying that he's, they call him the chemist. You know what I mean? So, and, uh, he, they was talking about he was in rehab and everything. Okay. Okay, let's, here goes some more things that the attorney said. See, so far, the attorney don't say it two different things. Okay. And I want y'all to go back and check this video out. Okay. An attorney representing Jordan, uh, I'm going to give y'all a little update. Okay. Uh, an attorney representing Jordan, Jordan Willis, the man whose friends was found Dead outside his Northland, his Northland home earlier this month said his client had no knowledge that they had died until police arrived at his house. Okay. Rumors have circled on social media about Willis since friends David Harrington, Clayton McGinney, and Ricky Johnson was found dead at his home on January the 9th in the 5200 block of Northwest 83, 83rd uh, Terrence. Okay. Police said there was no obvious sign of foul play at or near the scene and are awaiting the result of a medical examination to learn the cause of death for the man. Okay, let me see something else. Okay, his attorney also, uh, who representing uh, Willis, said that his client knew nothing about the men death and last saw them when they is, uh, cited his own acid. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't say like I'm sleeping. Okay, well, because it's late though, y'all. One o'clock. They asked his home and Willis went to pay it. See, we don't heard two different stories. We have heard that. Now, see, let me go back here. That the attorney said that his clients knew nothing about the men's death and last saw them when they asked his home and Willis went to bed. See, that's not what he said before. Willis didn't know that the men remained in his backyard and may have needed medical attention and, and said in a, in a news release. Um, also, the attorney says right here, um, uh, said Willis hadn't received calls or texts from the loved ones of his friends Prior to the police showing up at his home, two people came to Willie's home, but he didn't hear them because he sleeps with headphones and a loud fan, according to the news release. Okay. Uh, let me see what um, the attorney says. Now, according to Facebook, one person contacted him on Facebook Messenger. Okay, we talked about that. I'm just want to... Um, Speak on that. Jordan is aware of how his friends died. Uh, Jordan is unaware. I'm sorry, y'all. This is what the attorney said of how his friends died. Uh, like the rest of us, Jordan is, uh, is anxiously waiting the results of the autopsy and toxicology report. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. 
Let me see where we're at. See, I just don't want to read what the attorneys also. Okay, I said that. Okay. On one uh, behalf of Jordan and his family, we wish to express our deepest sy sympathies to the family, friends, and family members of these young men. Our thoughts and prayers are with them. Okay. So, y'all, the attorney still saying that Jordan is unaware of how his friend died. But why do they have a picture of him in chemistry? I don't know, somebody. I don't know. I don't know what to think. I really don't. I don't. Let me see what else the attorney said, y'all. And y'all, to be honest, I thought we was looking at I thought they said the autopsy was, um, I thought they were saying that the autopsy came out. Toxicology report came out. Now it didn't. These folk don't start lying. Hold on, y'all. And lastly, I just found out that there have there have been no additional details of this case revealed to any media, nor are these any plans to at this time. The case remains an ongoing death investigation. A Kansas City PD sportsman said on Thursday. Both uh, Kansas City Police Department uh, detective and the uh, Plate uh, County Prosecutor Office have been in touch with the deceased men's families and remain in contact with them as the investigation unfolds. Uh, Fox 4 is still working to obtain copy of the toxicology report. Um, it will determine it will determine if there were any substances, including alcohol, drugs, or more, was found in the three men system at the time of their death. Uh, source tells Fox Four the report details several substances, including Coca Cola, Finn was found in the men's system. Police from the beginning said they do not suspect foul play in the death and that it is not a homicide investigation. Mm. Okay. Uh, Harrington, McGinney, jo Johnson went to their friends joining Willis' home to watch the Kansas City Chief final regular game on January the 7th. Details change again. Fifth, uh, the fifth friend speaks out after three men. Okay. Stop, Campbell. Okay. Uh, also, this is a rental home. It's a rental home. He was renting the home. Well, y'all, so far, it's nothing. So I, I can't. I was looking for a toxicology report for y'all. Willis' attorney, uh, and John Pisano said there was a fifth man hanging out at the home Sunday, as well. Um, let me skip on over there, there you are. Sunday night. The fifth friend said when he left, the three victims and Willis were still awake. Um, Fox learned the three men were still alive in the wee hours on Monday morning, maybe as early as 1.30 a.m. It wasn't until late. Uh, Tuesday night at the McGinney fiance went looking for him eventually broke into the home and found a body. When police arrived, Willis opened the door and uh, officer found the other two bodies. His attorney issued a statement saying Willis had no idea that his friends were dead outside. And also that um, uh, his attorney also said multiple times that 
the only message Willis received from the men's family were via Facebook messages. He didn't receive any text message or calls. Well, y'all heard that. Okay. Let me see. Can I move this up some more? Okay. Uh, the, fifth me, the fifth friend never received a response. His attorney said, Fox 4 asked uh, Willie's attorney about this discrepancy, and he declined to comment. Uh, Willis had Willis has since moved out of the home, and according to Fox News, has checked into a rehab to address his problem with addiction. Okay, now despite uh, getting the toxicology report back, it's unclear when the police will receive the toxico toxicology uh, autopsies from the medical examiners examiner offers to determine the cause of death that could take several more weeks according to the uh, medical report medical uh, examinator okay let me see what else the prosecutor saying y'all platte county prosecuting attorney Ari uh Zina said that said at this time they still are waiting for kansas city police to conclude their portion of his investigation. Uh, in the meantime, Harrington, McGee, and Johnson families met with the Blake uh, County prosecutor on Wednesday. Uh, an attorney from the uh, Johnson family said they now feel as though this is being taken seriously not only by police, but also by the prosecutor. I want to see what action is being taken, and that's more important, what action is being taken, said uh, Caleb McGeeley, the cousin of Clayton McGeeley. All right, y'all. So this is telling y'all there's no foul place in, in, in it's, uh the investigation continue continue until the toxicology report return. Y'all like, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna take my tail to sleep. I'm out, y'all.